Today on the Mid-Year Mitch YouTube channel, I'm going to show you how to repair and replace fire damaged fiberglass. We're at the movies, huh? Yep, we're at the movies. So here's the door for my uh, Corvette race car I'm building and as you can see it was in a pretty good fire all the glass broke out of it and it's very very damaged. So when fiberglass catches on fire the main flammable part is the resin so it kind of just leaves the, the fibers behind so you have to re-impregnate it with resin but this part's way too far gone so I have this convertible skin I'm going to use which is a little oops. try that again. So I have this convertible skin. It's a little bit different. The back corner is different here. So I have to kind of blend in the coupe and convertible part here. And then it's a little different up in the front. Um, but that's okay. For, for the race car that I'm building, it's going to work perfect. So the inside of the door is really complete. So you can see it has a door panel on it. All the handles are on it. The vent window regulator seems to work still, which is cool. There's no glass in it anymore. Got the hinges on it regulators are in it and stuff so this is a, a complete unit it's got all the latches and stuff so this is perfect for my race car build it's So got the panel off, got the hinges off, and looks like this vent window regulator has one of the classic problems where the backing plate falls off and this gear is just able to walk around in there. So good thing we're fixing this. But also I want to point out the amount of shims that were in here. This is ridiculous. I've never seen this many shims in a door before. I've seen, I think my car may have like one or two or like a real small one to kind of pivot it, but this is like half an inch of shims. So obviously this car had some door alignment problems, um, among other things at this point. But now I'm gonna flip it over and we'll start splitting the skin, which hopefully it's not too hard. And we're gonna have to see how much we're gonna have to reconstruct here around this area. I don't know if I think this is part of the inner door skin so we may have to do some repairs here or do some repairs after we bond the skin on. So I wanted to remove the skin in kind of one piece but it wasn't separating right so it was just easier to cut it with a hacksaw and then you could literally rip it apart because there's no resin in it anymore. And then I could just get the hammer and chisel in there, peel it back which is what I did over here. So I've got everything roughed up here and I'm going to add some more reinforcement here. This bottom edge is pretty damaged from the fire. It's a little soft here um, just because of the fire damage. So I'm going to put another piece of fiberglass on here. So you can look back in the archives, but I have another video on replacing these rivets in here. On my 63 I had an issue where a couple of them were loose and somewhere one of these is loose so it's this very last one. So what that when that happens the physical door will move 
but this part won't so if it gets too bad you could have some serious issues which i could have had on my car but since the door skins off it's a lot easier to replace these now so i replaced this rivet with a bolt loctited it cranked it down and then i went and re-glassed some of the stuff like, like you just saw i put a piece of fiberglass kind of all around here and that really brought the strength back to this area so now i'm just going to go with the grinder clean all these rough edges up make sure stuff blends together right and that the skin fits on here again once this is bonded i'm gonna fiberglass this area that was fire damaged it'll just be a little stronger to do it that way instead of trying to fix this flange and not knowing what the shape of the door is The door skin bonded up to the door shell real nice. The way I had it clamped, it left a pretty nice tight seam here. So now I'm going to go grind this back a little bit and put some of that fiberglass filler in here to blend these two together. I'll hit some of this stuff with the DA. So I finished blending in the upper panel with the door skin. It turned out real nice. I may have ground that down a little bit, but everything lines up nice and it's close enough uh, for panel fitment whenever I go to build or put the back half with the door with the front end. It is, this will be good enough to get me in the ballpark and from there I can do a little body work if I want it to be closer. All this stuff up here that's burnt, this is gonna have to be reskinned. I'll have to grind this down and put a layer of fiberglass over it to make it nice because you can put resin on it but you burn through and you hit the nasty burnt fiberglass so this has just got to be reskinned and I have to figure out what to do down here but for now this project is done it's good enough like I said to get it fit so over here this patch turned out real nice just went here and covered it all up with fiberglass that'll reinforce this lip which was pretty weak from the fire and it makes it conform to the door skin I could have spent time trying to make this lip beforehand and try to make it perfect and it still wouldn't fit properly so the best thing to do bond this bond the skin on grind it back a little bit and then make the fiberglass up to that so this is going to go on the shelf along with this firewall which is another project i did this in another video and started these two at different times but pretty much roughed them in finished at the same time so uh, be sure to check out the video on this where i took a bunch of chunks of firewall and made a fairly decent firewall that just needs a little bit of sanding, smoothing, and just paint it black. So be sure to check out that video also. So I'm happy with the way this door turned out. Um, so be sure to stick around on the YouTube channel. I have a lot more videos coming on this project, doing a lot of fiberglass repairs. We're gonna be building a body out of a bunch of random fiberglass panels. Um, and then I'm gonna be converting a C3 frame to work on a C2. Um, so be sure to check those out. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later because I got a lot of work to do.